Hey guys, weather's been too bad for us to go boating this week, so I got no boat video for you. However, while this uh, weather's keeping us in, I replaced broken boat seats in the boat. Got a new underwater camera to see what's under the dock everywhere else, and we made some pineapple chicken. So enjoy, thanks. All right, so we've taken refuge from this storm in the shed and we're hearing the dinking and donking of hail and thunder. You can see the hail, you can see the hail in the pond. Hurricane season's here. Whoa, there's a bee in the boat. It's a boat bee. Look how long he's gonna hang around here. I think you want to be in here, little feller. Let's see if you can go out that window. That would be good for you to do. That would be good for you to do. Okay, well, I'll check back in on you later. So today, we're going to be Replacing the old tired boat seats. Thank you for your service with nice new boat seats. This one was completely rotten. That's its replacement. We're gonna both on today. So here's the first thing. Here on the bottom of the seat, these holes are about five and three eighths inches apart. Well, these holes up here in the fiberglass are about a foot apart. What do you think, Mr. B? Oh, goodbye, Mr. B. These seats are easy enough to get off. There's only four screws up in here. It's real rusty. I'm gonna spray some oil on it. And we'll come back in a minute. So now we've got a trash bag over the line so the oil will not leak on it. So let's go down in the cabin and see what we've got for oil. Let's see here. Uh, what is this? I think this is what we need. Ace lube and penetrant. Yep, that's it. Okay, so now we have it unscrewed. It should just come right off. And the same thing, the holes are too far apart. So we'll drill this side too in a moment. So as we said before, the seats, the hole pattern does not match the one here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take a piece of cardstock out these two holes put the screws in them find the other two punch them out and meanwhile this tells us where the edge is then when we drill we'll be drilling in the right place so now all four screws are through the card stock nice and heavy will make a great pattern for the drill we are three inches back to the end of the seat which will be this mark here so let's drill this thing and get it in. So we have our pattern on our mark and we're ready to mark it with the Sharpie and drill it. Don't blow away. So here we go. These are the screws that came with the seat and while they are very sturdy, I went down to Ace and got some extra large washers 
to help hold it down because this boat bounces a lot in the ocean. Okay, so now we have our two new seats. So for Prime Day, I got myself an Ecaso EK7000 sports camera. It is not a big camera. But it came with all of these goodies, straps, mounts, remote controls, waterproof cases, good to 100 feet. We're going to be dropping this one in the water soon. Steel leader, go drop it in the water. All of this on Prime Day for only 55 bucks. And for another 23 bucks, we get a big accessory kit. Selfie stick, tripod all kinds of mounts floating handle more mounts we have a head strap we have a body cam strap full bag to put everything in and then from my local office depot i got 232 gig memory cards plus something to read them with we're gonna have fun with this one so now we've mounted the new camera on a 12 foot stick, about a foot from the bottom. I'm gonna put it down in the water and see what happens. We left that stick in the bottom because the bottom here is pretty soft. So let's send it on down. We'll bring it up in a bit and see what it shows us. So while this little camera was looking at the catfish, the catfish whacked it so hard they partially opened this and got water in it. But I got it out, it's all rinsed out with fresh water. Everything's good, we're gonna put it back in. Oh yeah, we dug up sweet potatoes this morning too. When we put this camera down under the dock earlier today, it was down at the bottom about four and a half feet of water and we raised it up high we're gonna see if we can uh, put it in here now and get a better view of what's happening down there so we're gonna switch to the underwater camera <laughs>
Here we have pineapple chicken headed to the grill. Here, chicken is on the lower grill. Pineapple is on the upper grill. It will drip onto the chicken, but first we're going to put a few sticks of oak in the grill. The gas will light them quickly. Now the pineapple will drip on the chicken and the wood will smoke. Hey, thanks for watching our video today. Every Tuesday at noon, we put out a new video about Cocoa Beach boating, fishing, and life here in general. Also, if you want to move here, I am a real estate broker here. We own Happy House Real Estate. Contact us and we'll set you up in one of these beautiful waterfront houses. Thanks.